Welcome to another episode of True Health Matters. I'm Drew Tadia. And I'm Rick Kova. Today we're going to talk about um, food before workouts. Most people ask me what should I be eating before workouts. And I think a uh, good topic is what you shouldn't be eating before workouts. What you shouldn't be eating. Right. Okay. Yeah. I like People ask me that a lot and I say, you got to talk to Drew. It's <laughs> <laughs> a good recommendation. Yeah. So what is the best thing to... What, what kind of foods should you avoid then for a workout? Well, because of the how we do workouts, a lot of times we're in the plank position, like the push-up position. Yeah. Um, and sometimes we're bouncing around or moving at a, at a high pace. So hot, hot and spicy foods like curry or cumin, like those ones, those ones are, they affect me personally. And uh, I, you know, I get that a lot. A lot of people have that same problem. So those those hot spicy foods are, are important to avoid right before workout because like, you don't want to be trying to. You can you get that burning sensation that's coming up. Yeah. Feels like something's coming up there. Yeah. You get that burning sensation in the back of your throat. Yeah. And that I think those are more important at some time than what you should be what you should be eating. So stay away from those foods you should be eating first. That really give you those that indigestion or that, that bothers your stomach. Because you don't want to be struggling to work out because of that, because of those problems. Yeah, that makes sense too. If your stomach is cramping up, you, you're not gonna, nothing's gonna flow either. You're not gonna get rid of anything. Because when you're when you're working out, your your blood's in your extremities too. Right? So just digestion wise, it's probably not gonna, it's gonna sit in your gut for your whole workout probably. Yeah, that's not so good. <laughs> so you, do you have any foods or? or uh... Spice is something that you would avoid for some kind of high impact or activity? Well, I guess some spices that might help um, would be, you know, something like uh, like ginger, peppermint, or, or something like that. But just something to soothe the gut a little bit. Licorice root. It's, uh, you could use that. But, but you can say licorice or psychic. No, not licorice. licorice. Yeah, oh. licorice root. <laughs> okay. yeah. But uh, yeah, things like that would be good to soothe the stomach. But but yeah, I guess yeah, it makes sense to avoid foods like that. What what about amounts of foods or, or fluids? Like, would you say like before a workout, would you like, not drink a lot of, of water or a certain type of beverage? Or, uh, Alcohol. Okay. <laughs> I'll be drinking before a workout. Um, we should have at least 500 milliliters of water within an hour. So you're from, you should be drinking water throughout the day, but at least 500 milliliters. Yeah. So you're hydrated for the workout. And then you sip water. That's a good question because a lot of people, we, t we do uh, intervals and circuits in our workouts. So you give people a break, like a water break, because water is important to hydrate. Yeah. And if you're chugging your water on every break, you're going to be full and you're not going to be able to move. Okay. You need a stomach ache. So we sip water between workouts. Yeah. Um, okay. And then about an hour after workout, you should definitely rehydrate all those fluids you lost. Okay. Awesome. That's really good advice. All right. Um, so that's uh, that's it for this episode. Or you wanna? It's good for me. Okay. Right on. Thanks a lot. This is True Health Matters. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.